Hi everyone, here we are in another session of Mototo News. My name is Andres Bolaños and I'm here with my co-worker Michelle Sanchez. Good day to all our viewers and today we are having an interesting topic that all of us know, arithmetic. That's right Michelle, and for this topic we have two surprise guests that will give us more information about arithmetics, all its history and evolution. But first of all, we shall know first what's arithmetic. According to the Cambridge Dictionary, arithmetics is a part of mathematics that deals with adding, multiplying, etc. Mainly, in our daily life, we are always completely surrounded by mathematics, but maybe we don't know the real concept of this, the, its history and its evolution. So now we are going to talk with a, with a surprise guest, Ruben Ramon who is a historian who has dedicated all his life of the history and evolution of maths. Okay. Hi Mr. Ramoni, we know we made the best decision by choosing you for our program. So now, can you tell us a brief definition of what's arithmetics? Uh, hi everyone, to all the spectators, to you of course, Andres, thanks for inviting me to your program. I'm sure you made the best decision and I made a lot of research about the topic of arithmetic. And uh, I'm glad to be here, thanks for inviting me again, and okay, so I'll start with the topic. Well, we can say that arithmetic is a branch of the mathematics that studies additions, subtractions, divisions, multiplications, uh, principally for natural numbers. And this is a very ancient science that has been being developed by uh, many societies during the history of many. Um, it also used the transfinite decimals and as um, it's very linked with algebra and other mathematical sciences. Well definition doctor. Now can you give us a, a background of the history of arithmetics, the origin? Yeah, uh, arithmetics have a very ancient origin, much more before than it's recorded, but the first recordings are in 2000 before Christ by the ancient Egyptians, and they made the records in papyrus like the Rins or the Cajun papyr. Well, Doctor, thank you. Now, what is the history of what we know today about arithmetics and mathematics? Well, the arithmetics kept involving with Babylonian people. Uh, they involved in division and multiplication and they recorded their operations in tables and codex uh, that were very advanced by, by that time. And also the most known mathematicians and arithmetics were Greeks and they involved the multiplication and other mathematical systems and made them very similar as we know them today. And they have uh, more merit because of the alphabet. They, their alphabet made it very difficult to study the mathematics because it was a complex alphabet and they had the same symbols for numbers than for letters. And I think that's almost the most important and remarkable societies that helped to create what we know today as arithmetics. Thank you, Doctor. Oh, thanks. Well, I think that was the most important part about the arithmetic's past. So now we'll proceed to talk about arithmetic's future and present. For this, we have with us one of the most famous mathematicians of our era. Give it up to Mr. Francisco Julian. Uh, hello. <laughs> okay, it is our pleasure to have you here with us. So the first question we've prepared for you is, can you give us a detailed explanation of what is, uh, what it, does the arithmetic concept mean? Well, nowadays, uh, the arithmetic is the, con is the art of, uh, of combining numbers. You can combine numbers by adding or multiplying them. Uh, in this case, I'm not taking in account uh, the, the, the subs subtraction and the division. Because if you see, 
A subtraction is just an addition of a negative number. Uh -huh. The same phenomenon occurs when you go to the division. When you multiply with by a larger, by a larger number, what you are doing is that you are stretching. And when you are multiplying by a, a number less than one, you are contracting it. So that's ba basically uh, com the arithmetic combining numbers. Very interesting. And now, what new advances are, uh, of arithmetics have there been in our present era? Well, actually, in arithmetics, uh, there haven't been uh, many advances uh, lately. Uh, the most important uh, discoveries have been in uh, algebra and physics because arithmetics uh, uh, stopped evolving like a, like a half millennia ago or something. Uh, it's because uh, arithmetics is an area that has been very developed now. Well, uh, my partner is telling me that we run out we have run out of time, but thank you so much for your presence here. It has been a pleasure to be with you. Thank you. Well, all this information was really interesting, but most important, we know the history of arithmetics, how it has evolved through the, in all these years, how it has used around the world all the countries. With this information, we know all the background how the first trace of arithmetics was back there on the rank pastures, how Egyptians added subtraction and addition, how all arithmetics involved through Babylonians to get division, and how Greeks formed their system, such as the Pythagorean theorem, with the grading manners they had. So thank you to all these civilizations. Nowadays we know mathematics as we do. It's thanks to this basic science that we have done amazing discoverments. Using on the, background, on the background this information, we know that arithmetic have not evolved since some years ago. We know it as a tool for innovation, develop and creation that has brought to us a lot of knowledge and new discoveries and creation. Well, that is all for now. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.